back on the scooters. Let's have a look what I'm on today, shall we? Right, so as I said, it's another scooter day. So this is the Keyway Vasilia 125. I've never been on a Keyway scooter before. Love the other bikes, especially the Cruisers. Love the Super Light and the RKV and all of those. Never been on a scooter, so today is a first for me. But initially, the, the look round it is really nice. So we'll just start with that. Let's have a look round and you can tell me what you think of it. Yeah, for the price, there's not a lot to complain about on this one. Right, so there's our close-up. They are trying to give it that little bit of a classic look, I think. Certainly the back end is very like Vespa or Lambretta. You can see where they're getting their inspiration from with the, the lights and things like that. It is it's very retro all the way around. Rear passenger, you've got something to grab onto. Nice look from the back. Yeah, clear lens indicators, nice touch. The exhaust, pretty much standard, isn't it, on scooters? Nothing really to speak of. I really like the colour of the seat. And it's, it feels nice and it is very comfortable. That has got a hell of a lot of padding and it's a really nice place to park your backside. As far as your mirrors go, they haven't got the circle mirrors. They're kind of like, I don't know, would you say like egg-shaped? But very practical, see everything you need to behind and it's a nice chrome finish. And typical for scooters and a lot of kind of budget bikes really. You've not got loads of modes or anything to play with, you've just got the basics, the horn, your indicators and your high and low beam. On the right hand side we've got our engine start, we've got your engine cut off switch and then we've got your hazard lights there as well little bit of storage down there, a bag hook and there's plenty of room there actually to put a little bag if you want to put a bag between your legs if you don't want a backpack or anything so that's a nice little option and there's also a little bit of storage, I'll open that up that really is a little bit of storage okay so there's not a lot of room in here however a USB slot in there which is handy so you can certainly charge your phone and leave it in there even like a little lip there you, maybe if you want to keep some change or something in there I don't know whatever you want to put in there really but there's not a great deal of room but it's a nice extra there are no foot controls so you've got no foot brake or gears it is just a rev and go so that makes you go <laughs> simple as that and yeah no it's just, just easy riding isn't it and as far as the brakes go because you don't have any gears you've got your front brake as you would have normally and then your back brake is where your clutch would be if you had a gear bike very much like push bike controls basic speedo it does go all the way up to 80 mile an hour on this i think they've wasted money on on a few of those numbers nice looking wheels so we've got a single disc brake on the front and it looks like we've got a drum brake on the back you'll see shortly when we do the brake test it stops really really nicely passenger foot peg hides away neatly it does have a kick start as well okay so this is the look round of the Keyway Vasilia 125. Now, what do you think of it? Now, for me, you know, there's a certain type of people that like scooters. I've been converted. Just look at them for what they are. I mean, they're very easy to ride. They're unbelievably practical. They're brilliant round town or in traffic. They're brilliant to zip about. Speaking of which, I've been on my European tour recently and when I went through Paris it was bikes like these that were leaving me for dead because they were just zipping through the traffic I had no chance of keeping up with them but that's where these come into their own the town commutes the local rides you're going to get the quicker on one of these than you ever will on a big bike and they're just easy they're easy to maneuver around your garage 
they're easy to jump on and just ride straight away so definitely definitely worth considering now what we'll do we'll go for a ride i'll show you exactly what it's like on the move i'll show you what the performance is like we'll do brake tests sports day behind me what i won't do because it's standard for my videos i'm not going to go into the full specs i'm not going to bore you with all of the other figures i will however pop the information on at the end so if you're interested in the horsepower the seat height everything else i shall put that on at the end so don't worry about that um what i will say and i really do like for storage is the center stand center stand on a scooter is brilliant really easy to put this on a stand because it's so unbelievably light in fact i'll show you just so you know i'm not joking okay so that was just a little push now to put this on the center stand you are just standing on the stand and then when you put all of your weight on the stand i say all of your weight i'll not put all of my weight on it because it'll flip over but you put a little bit of weight on hand at the back hand at the front stand on it and it goes into place that's what you want nice and easy anybody could do it you don't need super strength you just need to hold it in the right places but i do like that as far as seat height goes on this i can flat foot this so it is quite low you'll know if you've watched my other videos so i'm five foot eight with a 30 inch inseam and i can sit down on this and flat foot it quite easily so if you are shorter don't worry easy to ride also what you've got with these if you are short and you're worried about being able to put your feet down you've got quite a big gap here so it's quite easy if you come to a stop you can slide off the seat and just stand up if you need to so i wouldn't worry about height things with this because it shouldn't really affect you anyway let's go riding and don't forget before we do if you're interested in videos like this big bikes small bikes you name it i'll ride it hit that subscribe button handles the cobbles really well quite a comfortable thing this i like this <laughs> i've changed i like the look of it it's it's quite nippy i mean it's a 125 but it's quite quick off the mark and i like it and you'll know if you've looked at my other scooter videos i do have an appreciation for the ease of riding a scooter i do i find them to be just an absolute delight to ride because they're just very very easy very easy like i've just done there just to nip through traffic it it's like there's nothing there do you know because they're very small they're very light they're very nimble to get through stuff and this does not disappoint now keyway for me they're making some absolute brilliant bikes but they're making some absolute cheapest chips bikes as well and this follows suit just follows what keyway are doing at the minute which is getting people on the road on a brand new bike at an absolute bargain price this is currently up for sale at into moto because they are one of the dealers for keyway if you're interested definitely well chat to those guys i'll put a link in the description but this bike in particular brand spanking new comes in at it's £1,999. Now, that for me as a starting price is absolutely phenomenal for a brand new 125 bike. And performance wise, you're certainly keeping up with traffic. And do you know what? You can buy 50ccs for the same price or even more than that and that is what i find amazing when you get a 125 that can do 50 60 mile an hour and you're getting it for the price of a 50 cc bike 
Now, yeah, you're buying a Kiwi, and I know a lot of people think, oh, it's cheap, so it must be rubbish. But do you know what? Kiwi as a brand, they are very cheap. And yes, things are built to a price. Of course they are. But they're built for a price that people can afford and afford quite comfortably. Let's give it a little bit of a brake test, shall we? Okay, so the brakes, very much like you'd expect from any scooter, really. They're really responsive and they stop you quickly, but I found that on a lot of scooters and I'm pleased to say this is no different. As far as manoeuvring goes with my feet, very, very easy because this bike weighs nothing. Well, obviously it weighs something, but in comparison to your big motorbikes, there's not a lot of weight with this it rolls very easily while you sat on it and if you're pushing it it just feels like you're pushing uh, a push bike that's how it feels genuinely it's very light i do like the finish on this however this is a brand spanking new bike so only time will tell how it holds up with a with a few years riding but initially out the box it's actually quite nice looks well made it's quite plasticky but, you know, it's what you're going to get with a bike of this price point, really. And it's very cheap, isn't it? It gets to 30 mile an hour very, very quickly. And I think that's the good thing about a 125 or bigger. Certainly for scooters where you're not the biggest on the road, you want to be able to keep up with traffic, don't you? And this certainly does keep up with traffic and it you're not going to get took over anywhere because you, you've got the performance to not frustrate other motorists. Lovely day for scooting. Loads of room between my knees there and the actual bike itself, which means you do have loads of room to use that bag hook that's down there as well. So you can throw a bag in between your legs there and you've got loads of room for it. And I have found with certain scooters, especially this type of size scooter, that sometimes you can feel a little bit cramped and it's just not the case with this. It's got loads of room. You can't beat a scooter, and I've said it before, I absolutely love the, the newer Vespers. Love them, I think they're great bikes. And this is considerably cheaper than those. And performance wise, certainly the 125 version, I would say they're very similar. There doesn't seem to be a lot in it. As far as your, well, cornering goes, it handles as good as any scooter really I've ever been on. And that's quite a bold statement because I've been on quite a lot. Performance wise, obviously they do vary from bike to bike. But, as a 125, I have been on slower 125 scooters, I've been on faster 125 scooters, but the price varies that much between them, that this really, performance wise, is probably better than what I would have expected it to be, for this price point anyway. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this bike back to Intumoto. If you're interested in a scooter, definitely check out Intumoto because they do have quite the selection from different brands. So if you're interested in this or just a scooter in general, there's loads to choose from. So head over to their website and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.